Hey guys, got a quick little chamber for you today called Chrono Occurrence 1 by Stimich. It is a short chamber, but it introduces a wholly new concept to the Portal universe, the concept of being able to freeze time. There are buttons in these chambers that, when you press them, will freeze everything in the chamber for about 10 seconds and let you wander about the frozen chamber, which leads to some pretty interesting puzzles. It also has a few custom voice lines in the map, which you're going to hear starting off the map in just a moment. Hello, robot. Welcome to our time control tests. Today we'll be testing the pause mechanic, which allows the user who presses the blue button to move around in space while time around them is stopped. With this new apparatus, we believe you can do things that before were impossible. I won't be commenting on the voice acting in this chamber. This is a pretty simple chamber. We've got a cube at the far end. We've got a cube catcher that will open up the door at the far end that you can't see. It's got a big deadly pit of goo which you can't cross and finally a button to freeze time. Now when you freeze time, as it turns out, that will freeze the pool of goo. Although you can't really see that because if you look at it, it looks like it's still moving. But that's the solution to this puzzle. Walk across the usually deadly pit of goo, kind of take that leap of faith there, get to the cube on the other side and bring it back to the catcher. Now, for whatever reason, even though you saw the test chamber by this stage, you still have to go walk across the pit of goo a second time, as if to train you that you really super won't die when you do this. This could have been resolved by putting a portable surface over on ground level on the other side, or just by moving the door to the other side of the chamber. It doesn't have to be over here. But whatever, that is the end of this chamber, and we're going to be moving on to something a little bit more complex with the second one. In this chamber, you'll see we've got a cube here, a button, just in case you lose your cube and get another one. You've got your magical time control blue button. You've got this little pit here, I don't even know what it does. And you've got this insurmountable looking ledge with a door on it that you have to get to. And finally, these two platforms in parallel. Whenever you see something like this in Portal, you immediately know. You need to put a portal on top, portal on the bottom, put something in the middle, start a little infinite fling going on there. You're going to do something else. You don't even know what yet. Maybe push a button, the cube will burst out in sunshine and rainbows, and the puzzle will be solved. But not in this case. In this case, you just have to get things set up so you can place a portal underneath the cube, and immediately after you place that portal, freeze time and use the cube that's suspended in midair as a platform to get up onto the ledge. It's much easier to do it set up this way than it is to try to freeze time while it's in the middle of that infinite fling, and I kind of wish the chamber weren't set up to make it look like that was the solution. But once you've got that set up, all you have to do is get the cube to the other side. The puzzle is solved. Well done! Too bad we can't really see what you're doing because, you know, we can't really tell what's going on when time froze. Wait a minute. You mean you didn't install a camera in the robot so we could actually see what's going on while time's frozen? Uh, um, well, you see, I, I, was, uh, I was gonna do that, and, uh... Alright, I'll go get uh, it. Okay, you do. And that concludes Chrono Occurrence 1. As you may have noticed from the one in the title, it is part of a sequence that, as of this video, is only four chambers, but absolutely worth checking out. I've left a link to that um, sequence of chambers in the description if you want to check them out yourself. If you don't want to hear the voice acting, you can turn it off by turning down the music. For some reason, that takes away the voice acting. You might up into some situations where things aren't moving for a little while because there's a voice sequence going on that you can't hear, but it is absolutely a possibility if you want to do that. Uh, the only other criticism I have of the chambers as a player is I do wish the lighting was a little bit more varied. It almost kind of looks like a full bright chamber when you go into it, so it would have been kind of nice to see a little bit more variation there, but it is absolutely worth checking out. It is a very interesting new concept introduced to the Portal universe. Again, the links in the description if you want to play those chambers and as always if you have another map that you want me to do a video of just leave it in the comments thanks very much for watching guys and i will catch you next time